Hi, Mike Stish here for Hackaday.com. I got a Raspberry Pi in the mail this week, and uh, the first thing that I was looking to do is load up XBMC on it. Um, I tried out the RASBMC package, and it turned out to be really, really easy to install. So here's the board itself. I've got an uh, Ethernet connection. Um, this is a USB keyboard connection right here, HDMI uh, to the TV. Um, this is power, and then here's the SD card right here. It's uh, super simple to install RASBMC. Um, you download an image and flash it to the card, and then uh, the board does the rest. Um, downloading the full distribution, setting up the file system, and then downloading um, a copy of XBMC. There's also um, nightly builds available if you want to uh, try those out. Um, so I'll go ahead and plug it in, and we can watch the boot process here. Um, it boots pretty quickly. I'd say it takes about a minute in total to boot up. Um, the video alignment is a little bit off, um, so I, I believe I have uh, messages going off the left side of the screen there. Um, but in general, once it gets into um, XBMC, the uh, standard video calibration um, works just fine for it. Uh, now, I had no trouble setting up my sources in XBMC. Um, I have other uh, front ends on different TVs um, running, and uh, so all the infrastructure was there. I just had to add some Samba shares and scan things into the library. Um, what I found pretty upsetting though is that it wouldn't play any of the video files that I have. Um, the majority of the video um, that we have on our server is recorded um, ATSC, so over the air transmissions. And um, I can play it, but it'll only play audio playback. So here's um, what we're used to with XBMC. We can go ahead and, and uh, you know put on an episode. You can see there's a little bit of lag in building the menus, but you know nothing um, that's like a deal breaker. So if I want to play something, it will start playing it, but we're only going to hear audio. We won't hear any video. So it's playing right now. Uh, unfortunately, this isn't just some kind of um, you know setup problem. It's actually a shortfall of the hardware itself. The um, the Raspberry Pi can do hardware decoding, or the chip on the Raspberry Pi can do hardware decoding of MPEG-2 video, but uh, that capability has not been licensed, so it's like hardware locked. So we're, there's really no way to enable that, and uh, as far as I can tell, um, there's not going to be any way to do it in software just because there's not enough power on the ARM processor. Um, you know, just to show you that it is working, here is Big Buck Bunny, which is kind of a standard test thing. Uh, this is 1080p video. There does tend to be a hiccup um, with audio right at the beginning of it, but once it gets playing, um, it seems to be fine. And this is, um, what, H.264 probably. So, you know, it's an amazing platform, but I think it's just not quite... Uh, there yet for a um, media server unless you're willing to retranscode everything. So that's first hands-on look at Raspberry Pi and uh, running the RaspBMC. And if uh, you know if we come along with any uh, major developments, I'll make sure to do an update. Uh, read more about this at Hackaday.com.